Welcome to all the listeners of the Animamen podcast number one. Imagine, please, the following scenario. Robert comes in, sits down next to Chaim on a plane. Chaim is learned and totally observant, looks obviously orthodox, with a black suit, a white shirt. Robert is unconnected. He knows very little, had no Jewish education, but has done some research on the internet and in the blogs. Just enough to know that he has a lot of questions. He's a friendly fellow. So he starts up a conversation with Chaim. Hi, my name is Robert. I see you are a religious Jew. I know very little about Judaism, but I have a lot of questions. Do you mind if I ask you some of my questions? I assume you keep kosher. I'm not quite sure what that means. And you observe what you call Shabbos every Saturday. I see you wearing a skull cap and you have those strings coming out of your pants. Please tell me what makes you do all these things. I'm really curious. Chaim is caught somewhat off guard. He isn't really trained to engage in this type of conversation, but he can't really refuse. So he said, sure, I'll try to answer you as best I can. We have a Torah, which was given to us by God. In that Torah, we are instructed to do all these things. Chaim thinks the conversation is closed. Oh no, but Robert is not letting him get away with that. So Robert asks, just a minute, please. How do you know that there is a God? Did you ever see him or speak to him? Did he ever send you an email? The atheists claim that there is no God and there never was a creation, that there is no intelligence whatsoever involved in the making of the universe. How can you disprove so many eminent scientists? And if indeed there is a God, do you know that this Torah of yours was given by him? Were you there at the time? Isn't it supposedly thousands of years since then? Maybe it was made up by somebody else. How can you be sure, so sure that it is so? Furthermore, you know, your religion is not the only one. There's Christianity that has over 2 billion followers and Islam with over a billion followers. And the Jewish people constitute a tiny fraction of mankind. So 99% of the world says that the Jews are wrong. And yet they claim that they have the only truth and that no one else does. What makes your belief any more valid than theirs? Your religion makes claims about the afterlife. Have you ever been there? Did you ever speak to someone who came back from there? Maybe the afterlife is awarded to people of other beliefs as they indeed claim. Your religion claims that you're waiting for the Messiah. How can you be sure that he's coming? Christianity says he came long ago. Furthermore, if as you claim your ancestors accepted a Torah long ago, why should anybody have to keep it today? After all, today's generation never accepted it at Mount Sinai. Why is what they accepted binding on you? Well, By this time, Chaim is somewhat overwhelmed. He wasn't prepared for such an onslaught. The only answer he has to all these questions is that this is what he was taught. His parents told him what they believe. His teachers told him what they believe. And he belongs to a community where everyone observes and subscribes to these same beliefs. He never gave it much thought. From the time he was a little boy, he was taught all these things and trained to adhere to all these practices. 
They put him on tzitzis, the fringes, when he was three years old. And he went through the school system. And now he realizes that he himself has no solid explanation as to how he knows that all this is true. Maybe some of my listeners here are like Robert, basically outsiders looking in from a distance with very little idea about what the Jewish people, their own people, have been doing for the last 3,000 years. The sacrifices they made to preserve this faith, why they were so confident that their faith is the truth, and they possess not nearly enough knowledge about their own religion to even begin to compare it with others. The little that they know is from hearsay, maybe from a grandmother on the media, the blogs, or the neighbor down the street. On the other hand, maybe some of my listeners are like Chaim, who have studied in a yeshiva, studied Talmud. By the way, the answers to these questions are not generally found in the Talmud. Maybe it's someone who went to a Beis Yaakov school where many of the girls go. Fully observant, knowledgeable in the books, the Svarim and the Hebrew texts, self-confident, without doubts, not because he knows the answers to these basic questions, no, but rather because he never turned his thoughts in that direction. He never thought about them. And maybe sometimes when he does, if by chance he ponders on these issues, he realizes that he doesn't quite know why he does all that he does. But he suppresses the questions and moves on through life because that's the lifestyle he was brought up with. This is his community. He's comfortable and has no intention of changing or moving on elsewhere. Now, my listeners, you know what this podcast series is all about. It's to respond to the Roberts of the world in a meaningful and compelling manner, to work our way from the bottom up and demonstrate that there is a solid basis for this belief while by comparison, under objective scrutiny, we can see that there really is no competition from the other faiths. It's to give and supply food for thought to Jews who realize that they have drifted away over generations from a life with traditional Jewish content and don't have much left but a Jewish sounding name and maybe a Jewish nose. The message will be the same to the Chaims of the world. Chaim, the life you live as a Jew is rock solid. Don't hesitate to ask because there are answers. Go through the intellectual exercise of questioning and receiving responses. Climb the ladder of belief one rung at a time. And when you get to the top, which won't take too long, you will feel a sense of fulfillment and an ecstasy that you didn't have before in the knowledge that you're living a life that is based on the truth. So stay tuned to our next podcast, which we will begin our trek through 3000 years of Jewish belief and endeavor to answer all these questions and many more one by one, and let the listener be the judge if all that we have been taught is really the truth. Ani mamin bemunoshik meimo shehaboire yisvarachshimo You've been listening to Rabbi David Saperman, founder and director of the Ani Mamin Foundation, 
For further information, please visit animaminfoundation.org.